Okay guys, here we are in Eurotruck Sim again. <clears throat> now we're back on version 1.3 instead of uh, 1.28, which I was using to do the uh, the harsh Russian map, R18 version. This is a map combination that I've got uh, set up. It's just going to be a quick stream just to get it uh, archived on my channel and we'll show you what we're going to be working with here. We're, we've got a number of maps. We have the Russia map, uh, the southern region, uh, Kazakhstan, the Great Steppe map, uh, Russian Open Spaces, Project Balkans and the EAA Brazil map. Now we've got uh, we've got all of those installed and we've got them working. Uh, there's just a couple of things to clarify. I'm going to show you the load order in a minute. Uh, when you download the files, the files are actually on the uh, video information, the download links are there. Uh, but you will actually download a couple of extra files that uh, I haven't used. Um, and I'll show you what ones they are to ignore. Uh, there's one I think must be Russian trucks or something, but I've, I've left that out, but I've got the, the map working. So what we'll do is, is we will go into the profiles and we'll go into the mod manager. So first of all, you have to have all your DLC maps installed. You have to have Going East, Scandinavia, France and Italy installed. And you have to have the latest version of uh, Eurotruck, which is 1.30.2.2, I think it is. Oh, up in the top left hand corner so in the mod manager and there's a big number of files here I'm going to start from the bottom upwards so we'll work our way from the bottom up to the top and at the bottom the bottom map that you put in first is the Kazakhstan map so the first file Well, the maps do work, but the game crashed. <laughs> I had it working. I've already done two or three jobs on this uh, map combination. But for some reason, the game just crashed here. Uh, right, where were we? We were at the bottom. The first map to install is the Great Step map. It goes in the bottom, and you put the model file on the bottom. Then the next one above that is the map file. Then above that is the def file. And then the next map after that one will be the southern region and it's model number three that goes on the bottom above that goes model two file and model one and then the def and map file goes above that so that's the first two maps installed in this combination and then above that we have the southern region rebuilding file we have the russia map def package Above that we have the uh, base map uh, file for uh, the EAA Brazil map version 4.5. These are all the latest versions as far as I know. And then above that we have the map file on its own for the Brazil map. Then the next map to install above that is the Pro Mods package. So you'll get the assets package as the bottom file in that list. Then the one above that will be package 3 then package 2 and package 1 and then above that the media package file uh, the map package file and the last one in the pro mods one is the definition packages file the next map above that is the russia map 
you have the model 2 package file on the bottom then the one above that will be the model package file and then the map package file and then above that you have a Russia map fix file for 1.28 then you have a fix for ProMods 2.25 to be compatible with the Brazil map above that you have the ProMods 2.25 plus Russia map uh, road connection file and then the next file above that will be the Russian Open Spaces file. Then you have Russian Open Spaces model file. Then the Russian Open Spaces map file. Uh, Russian Open Spaces vehicle file. Now this is, there's one of the files that I haven't installed and it's a Russian Open Spaces truck file, which is that one. Uh, I've left it out. And above that you have the Promozona uh, 1.3 Russian Open Spaces uh, connection file or connection road file. And uh, there's two files of this Promozona in this download. It's the one that ends in RMPR. Ignore the other one. So that's the two files to ignore. The Russian trucks one and the Promozona second file, the one that doesn't have PR at the end of it, ignore it. And then above that we have the Project Balkans Assets Package. Then we have the Project Balkans Map Package. And Project Balkans Def Package. Now everything above that is all of uh, uh, the mods that I've got installed over and above the map files. So you can ignore those. I've got the SISL's Mega Pack, uh, the Powerful Engines uh, Pack, and I've got uh, the, uh, what is it you call it, the root advisor file and the Russian truck, the Kamaz. So you ignore those ones at the top because that's where you'd normally put those sort of files anyway. But these are all the map files to get them working in combination. So we'll come out of that. continue the game. Now this will give you an idea how long this takes to load. Uh, it takes about, or initially it takes about three or four minutes to actually load up. So um, it's a big combination so you expect it's going to take a little while. It might take a little while longer depending on what sort of PC you've got. Um, but we'll have a look at the map once it's actually loaded up. As I say, I've started from scratch. I think you actually start with about 2,000 euros or something on this map uh, combination. So I could have installed the money cheat and um, the XP cheat, but I left that one out. I just wanted to start from scratch. And it's been quite a while since I've driven on the Russian Open Spaces map. It's been updated probably about four or five times since the last time I actually driv uh, drove on it. Um, and I actually did have this combination working a long while ago. Um, the only thing was the Russian, uh, the sort of the Kazakhstan um, Great Step map wasn't out at the time. It wasn't available, but everything else I had installed and working. Uh, this is the only problem with these map combinations. You, you get all the files you need to get them installed and then lo and behold Eurotruck does an update and everything is then out of date and it usually takes a while to get things back in order so you can actually make these combination maps up. So this is real time, there's nothing speeded up here. We're just letting it take its time to show you how it loads up. But the, the main principal map in this is the ProMods map, which is an excellent map. Um, the, the, the guys in the ProMods have put an awful lot of work into it, and you've got to look closely to see the sort of work that they've done. Um, there's different road interchanges, different road signs, lots of little things that they, they add in to make the map much more realistic 
and uh, it, it really is a professional finish in the Pro Mods map. But getting it to work with all of these other maps is always the problem. Especially with Russian open spaces, the Russian map, and getting them all combined. So if anybody wants to, to try and get this working, hopefully this little guide will help you. You can obviously just pause the video as you're looking at the install order and hopefully you'll get it working. So we're still going real time. As I said as well, if you've got a slightly older PC it might take a bit longer but just be patient it will get there. And the best thing to do once you install these uh, maps is to shut down um, well provided you you get the actual game to load once you've done that I would always suggest you shut down the game shut down Steam and restart Steam and then restart your game but this will give you a little change from the most popular map which of course is the Mario map. The Mario map's the biggest map but this certainly has a fair bit of variation in it and of course the Pro Mods map has been updated quite a bit as well since the last time I tried it. You've got, uh, you've got Ireland now in it as well and various other additions. Um, the, up, the updated Iceland as well They've got the Isle of Man. A number of different things have been added to the Pro Mods map. I've never driven this Kazakhstan area either. That's another area I haven't driven. Still loading, we're all still here. When that bar gets beyond the halfway mark and freezes like this, you think it's going to crash, but it just takes its time. You just got to be patient. Don't start bashing buttons and control alt delete or doing anything like that, just let it do it. That's probably over four minutes since it started loading up. So anywhere between maybe four and uh, goodness knows how long it might take in older PCs, but certainly four minutes and over expected to take that amount of time.
so we won't be doing any driving in this this is just to actually show you the load order and have a look at the map it's just going to be a quick stream I could have just recorded this and then uploaded it but I couldn't be bothered it's a lot easier just to stream it and then YouTube does the rest It's almost there, uh, that uh, bar will move along any second. Move along to about seven eighths and then it does the last eighth, just at the very end. So that's it loaded up and let's have a look at the map. So that's the UK, we've got the UK and Ireland, we've got the Isle of Man, there's various other little places been added, uh, Chelmsford I think is a new town, Cambridge, uh, no I think Cambridge is in the Mario map but certainly places like Chelmsford, uh, you've obviously got uh, Wales as well, you've got Cardiff and Swansea and then you've got the ferry connections at uh, Fishguard that will take you over to Ireland. I've actually done a delivery, uh, I think it was from, was it from Cambridge to Dublin? Anyway, I've been across to Ireland and there's a lot of nice work being done on that part of the map as well. Um, if we go up here, we've got... Uh, that's Orkney, isn't it? Kirk Wall and Orkney or Shetland, I'm getting mixed up. Anyway, we've then got uh, the Faroe Isles and we have Iceland, which has uh, been upgraded as well over the period of time Pro Mods has been working on it. Um, and then we can go across to Norway and Sweden, and you can see there's been various routes added on there as well compared to what's in the base map. Uh, in the Scandinavia map and that goes all the way up to Murmansk and then over here we've got the Russia map which goes out as far as Moscow um, and then I think uh, the Balkans is somewhere down there it's either there or there, I get mixed up um, and then over here, of course, the other one is you've got uh, the Kazakhstan map, which is down to here. That's Italy. Uh, Kazakhstan map is over here somewhere. And then the rest of it is the southern region map, that one there. And then over here you have all of the Russian open spaces and then of course you'll get the connections uh, that take you over to the Russian open spaces, there's one up here um, which is one of the files that you install that allows you to connect from the Russia map over to the Russian open spaces map so that goes away over here to the far east uh, I don't notice an awful lot of difference in the Russian open spaces map although they say they've added a few towns over a period of time. There probably is uh, more towns in it, but certainly it's the one that will give you a lot of driving time, a lot of long routes on it, and of course there's the 
the snowy part of it as well up in the north and then you have um, the little island up there and I'm trying to remember the name of it, I mean that's what it says it is, I was trying to remember what it's called, it's completely gone out of my head and then finally down here is uh, all of the EA Brazil map. Now this is a map where you'll get two different maps. Remember you have the normal EAA Brazil map and you have uh, the EAA Brazil map which is actually the bus map. That's not the one you want. You want the you want the normal Brazil map. So you can see there's an awful lot of towns and cities and little routes hidden on that map so there's thousands of miles to drive on this combination and that's what it looks like once you've got it installed so hopefully that video at the start of the video hopefully you can follow that install order you can download the files uh, from the um, information that's on uh, the video and uh, good luck and hopefully you get it up and running and with that, we will see you again soon.